So today on Barfly, we are tackling the most iconic cocktail the world over. I'll give you one guess as to what it is. My name's Leandro Demon Riva. This is The Educated Barfly. I love this show, but it just me or is reading a comment with no bumper or acknowledgement cringe and awkward? Let's get into making the cocktail. So today we're really happy to be sponsored by Elijah Craig to help them ring in Elijah Craig's Old Fashioned Week. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what Elijah Craig's Old Fashioned Week is a little bit later, but let's make an old fashioned first. So first thing we're gonna do is take our glass and we are going to add one sugar cube. Then we're gonna do the equivalent of about four dashes of bitters. I'm gonna take our soda here. And we're just gonna do a little dash of club soda. And that's just to help the sugar dissolve. I'm gonna take a muddling spoon and we're just gonna give this a nice muddle. So what you wanna do here is press this into a little bit of a paste, but you wanna have a little bit of graininess left in the glass. You don't want to completely dissolve all the sugar. And then we're just gonna add two ounces of our Elijah Craig. I like to give it another little stir. And then we're gonna add our ice. And then we're just gonna stir it until we see the sides of the glass frost up a bit. Now what's nice about this is that you have residual sugar that doesn't dissolve into the cocktail. And so as the ice melts, the cocktail evolves a bit and it goes from a little bit stiffer to a little bit sweeter. And then you get this nice little, just a tiny little pop of sugar and whiskey at the end, which for me is one of the most satisfying things about this cocktail. And there we have it. We're gonna take an orange and a lemon. We're gonna take the peels. And you wanna make sure that you actually get a good amount of pith on this peel so that you express the oil. You know, I know that it seems counterintuitive because everyone says you wanna make sure that you don't have a lot of pith. If you have very little pith on the back side of your peel, you actually won't get a good expression of oil. And so we're just gonna express it over the top of the cocktail like so. I like to rub it on the side of the glass a little and then another little spritz of orange like so, like that. And then we're just gonna finish this off with a little cherry. And there it is, the old fashioned, let's sip it. Mm, it's so good. Now, what you really want in a bourbon is you want something that is gonna be hot enough that sort of balances out the other sugar elements or it can get a little bit too sweet. And why I think Elijah Craig is well suited for an old fashioned is because it has 94 proof and so it's just proofy enough to sort of add this kind of spice element back into the cocktail, kind of balancing out the sugar elements, really creating a nice dynamic between the whiskey and the bitters and the sugar. It has this really subtle smoke on the finish uh, when you drink it neat. And so it provides this nice extra element to your old fashioned that just is mwah, chef's kiss. It's a uh, fantastic. So there you have it, the Elijah Craig old fashioned. So today we're really excited to be partnered up with Elijah Craig to help support Elijah Craig's Old Fashioned Week. Elijah Craig's Old Fashioned Week is an annual celebration of one of the world's most iconic cocktails, and it's your chance to go to some of your favorite local bars and drink old fashions or riffs on old fashions, all while knowing that you're helping to raise money for a worthy cause. So this year, Elijah Craig's Old Fashioned Week is supporting the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation, a nonprofit by and for restaurant workers and food employees. All funds go directly towards uh, financial assistance to restaurant workers, grants for nonprofit partners, and zero interest loans for small businesses. I think this is something that is really badly needed in the industry today and something that I'm very happy to support. So taking part in Old Fashioned Week is really easy. Just go to oldfashionedweek.com to find a participating bar near you, and then you can drink your favorite Old Fashioned all while raising a glass to helping the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation. So for a little history on the Old Fashioned, nobody really knows exactly when the Old Fashioned was created. What we do know is that in 1806, a New York City tabloid named The Balance and Columbian Repository defined a cocktail as a stimulating liquor composed of spirits of any kind, sugar, water, and bitters. And that is basically the definition of an Old Fashioned. So we can place the Old Fashioned or whatever became the Old Fashioned sometime before 1806. It just may not have been called the Old Fashioned anymore. It would be really strange actually if a new cocktail was called an old fashioned. So I think basically 
what we have found is that it started off as a whiskey cocktail and then over time became an old fashioned. And that's what we got for you. If you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com for articles, merch, our virtual bottle program. We've got lots of fun stuff going on there. Thank you to all of our patrons and YouTube members for helping to make this channel possible. And I will see you guys on another time. Now go get that old fashioned.